Dave Scott Hub Media with Justin from Elevation Home Design. Justin, thanks for doing all those shows last year and talking about how to make guys like me do a better job at home. I know you're busy with all your contracting. I know you're going to talk later about a couple of homes you got coming up on the market. But uh, today, if you don't mind, when a guy like myself wants to do home renovations, we get all excited. We go buy the material. We forget half the stuff. We come back. We do these, you know, constant, uh, constant uh, stop at the store and come back. What's the order of operations that you guys use to make our jobs easier? Can you sort of fill us in on how we should be doing it? Yeah, sure. Well, no, it's um, no, I, I, we really enjoyed all the stuff that we did uh, with you guys last year. It was uh, it was a good start. Um, get get feet wet with this uh, with this type type of media. Um, so we're really, uh, we're really thrilled about how it went last year and, uh, hopefully we're going to expand it a bit more this year. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's a bit of a situation sometimes because if, if you don't do this every day, um, there's, you know, doesn't mean you can't do it. Um, but a lot of the times uh, sort of the, the, uh, the standard operating procedures of how, how you would, how you would put together a, a specific task or a specific job, uh, tend to get missed. Um, and, and honest to God, I mean, the, even my own guys, I mean, we go over these, these SOPs all the time and, uh, and there's still stuff that doesn't get to the job when they go to do materials and stuff like that. And you have to go back and, and I mean, on a, on a DIY perspective, it's not end of the world because I mean, it's your time and your money, but uh, on, in our world, like if it, uh, if we go back to the store three times, I mean, the job's almost useless at that point. So anyways, but the, the, the way that we do it is for every for every avenue that we go into, whether it be carpentry, plumbing, tiling, flooring, all these types of things. Um, a lot of the times, what I mean, what all uh, the guys don't do this, I, I do this, but um, I will actually so I'll actually research a little bit ahead of time the night before, or whatever, on the product that I'm going to be using because a lot of manufacturers have like a specific this or a specific that that they want you to use too and and you know like everybody knows i mean youtube is mostly our friends these days but uh sometimes it's good like these manufacturers they'll have a quick install video it doesn't break it down but uh it'll say like okay you want to use this mortar you want like these are the steps um so sometimes that helps because it'll it'll get you a bit of a checklist together um in terms of what you need but 99% 99% of the time, it um, what I tell people is either a, I mean, try to get a hold of somebody that that might know, and then and just make a basic checklist. And if and if you can't get a hold, if you don't know somebody that you know, um, then definitely you want to do a little bit of internet browsing um, and try because it, the problem is with HGTV and 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 the and the TV side of things is that it's just what from rough to finish in one show. So gone are the days, you know, when we when we dealt with, you know, Norm Abram and and this old house and, and stuff like that when it was Bob Vila and they actually ran through the steps. It was it was physical DIY, but now it's just entertainment. So um, so you, you do want to try to research your steps because uh, every every trade and every project has got uh it's standard steps and then there's the tricks on top of that right and the, the tricks are generally what you learn in the trade um but god i mean if you skip a step or don't um uh, don't get the right product uh it can really hurt you and one of the other things too is i think it, you're good to think that you're always not always think that way but you're going to see a problem within it right like oh, yeah. there's going to be a secondary issue so be prepared right give yourself that that time lapse. Don't tell your wife you're going to have it done the ap- in the afternoon. It's uh, not going to happen, right? Uh, yeah. Is that another? No, I, no, absolutely. Problem? You you want to? I mean, keep in mind if if something if you have not ever done it before, or even if you've done it two or three times. I mean, if uh, if you think it's going to take three hours, it's a hundred percent six. Because, <laughs> just because I mean, unless you're going to rush through it, and if you're going to rush through it, you're probably not going to get it. And that. And that and that's and I, I even tell my guys. I mean, it's slow is fast when you don't really know what you're doing. Um, so honestly, the slowest that you can possibly take on each piece, on each piece of tile, on each piece of trim, um, is actually the better way to go. You, you'll end up. I mean, you might be three more weekends into it, 
but your end product and, and the homeowners that I do know that take on this kind of stuff because uh, it, it honestly, I, 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 some of them I blown away. I'm like, frick, you're hired because they, <laughs> they, they've now, mind you, it's taken them three weekends to do one door, but, right. um, but I mean, it's perfect. Right. And that's the kind of, I think most people would rather sit back and look at their install door or their backsplash or something like that and be like, you know, I don't have to redo that. Uh, rather than rush through it, wife's happy or husband's happy at the end of the day, whoever's doing the tile job, because uh, I mean, I, we have an increasing amount of of women um, coming to my door looking for jobs, and they are good. Yeah, uh, it, I mean, they're, they're all different types of trades. So I mean, I shouldn't just focus on the husband stuff, but um, I mean, we have a we have a painter that just uh, an, another female painter that just started with us, and she can or she she can do way more than paint. Uh, I mean, she can, she can mud, she can tape, she can do bits and pieces of carpentry really quite well versed. I mean, she needs to work on some of her work ethic habits, but, but I mean, skill wise, unbelievable. So anyways, um, it's getting off topic, but yeah, you, you definitely want to go slow and, uh, and not try to be a superhero up front. Uh, that's a great point that you brought up about, cause I know my wife can measure something just perfect and I'm terrible. Right. Like he, it's a team, right? You got to do, it's a great point. I'm glad you brought that up. It, that way it gets done a little bit, little bit better. And most of the time she'll slow me down, right? Yeah. So and, check, and, double, you know, measure twice, cut one. Oh, right? yeah. Measure 16 times if you got it, right? <laughs> um, but, you know, and you, you really just want to try to under, understand each, um, you know, focus on, on, like, on every cut. If you, if you see something in a magazine and, um, Let's say it's it's an end cut on a piece of hardwood. You know, have, have a deep look at that. If your if your end cut on your hardwood floor that you're laying down looks doesn't look like the picture, I should say. Um, maybe it's because they just took a bit of sandpaper and they rolled that edge over uh, so that it wasn't so jaggy, or 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 maybe they actually kind of fully chamfered the cut so that it you know looks like the rest of the chamfers on the cut. So, you know what I mean? So it kind of gives it that factory edge on all four sides, even though you've cut it, you know, and there's a bunch of stuff like that. Tile is a big one too. Tile probably got the most amount of tricks out there because there is a way to really screw it up. And then there's a way to make it almost look seamless. And uh, the seamless way takes about 10 years of experience, but, but, you know, but have a look and, and every time you cut that tile, be like, okay, what, what could I do to, you know, make this singular tile, a better finish than the way it's sitting right now after I've just cut it, you know? So because there's all kinds of different stuff out there and there's tricks. There's, there's even, there's some great tools on Amazon for doing tile and re repolishing edges that are cut and stuff like that. Right. To make, to make it look nice. But we're actually like, I, I've mentioned it a few times. We um, like we, we, we're, it's, it's a slow process, but we're, we're still working on developing this, uh, this service this separate company um, that, uh, will have the ability to answer this type of stuff. Um, uh, like not quite on the fly, but, um, you know, the, the service is going to be pro builder inspection and it, the service is going to go all the ways from, you know, a, an inspection, like it's sort of like a home inspection, but this is from a builder's perspective so that you actually get the gist, like the real deal, whether or not you know, the project can happen, uh, whether or not it's worth it for it to happen. And it's not an obligation to hire elevation homes. It's, it's, uh, it's, it, but we're going to range all the way from DIY advice. If you're doing it yourself all the way up to, you could hire us or other contractors in my network to, to do the job, but it's more of a consultant thing to actually get you the information for exactly what we're talking about, get the information to yeah. Or not, you should or you shouldn't. That's a great idea. It's a right. wonderful idea. I mean, and then you know, it, it having that resource, especially when you're trying to figure things out, is huge. Especially like you said, if it can't be done, right. like you get this great idea, but if it's not practical and it's going to cost a million dollars, it ain't going to happen. So you know, right. that wonderful, great idea. Yeah, I mean, no, that's, so that's excellent. We've been working on it, Dave, honestly, for a year. But it, yeah. it, it's it's getting getting the website to. Uh, work in enough ways and have enough, you know, I don't want it to be dead space because it's like the complete opposite. So when a question comes in or an appointment comes in, you know, I, I, 
a question you can schedule. You'll be able to schedule a call with me. You'll be able to schedule a call with Jack. You'll be able to schedule a call with Sam. Uh, and these are all guys with like 20, 23 years experience in all kinds right. of fields. So you'll be able to, to schedule those Zoom calls and they'll be you know, you know anywhere from $29 to $99, depending on the length of it. And then then we're actually going to have these these uh, these pro builder inspections, which is like a, a, a home inspection on drugs. Because, I mean, the, 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 the home inspection process is, uh, although semi-legitimate, I don't say it's completely legitimate in my eyes because that course is a weekend long, right? Yeah. And they cannot tell you if you can take out that wall, right? And, and the, the problem is, you, and you go to buy this house thinking – Oh yeah, well, this uh, you know, my neighbor said it should be okay. So it's not a load bearer, yeah. and and your whole dictation of the entire purchase is getting this five by nine island in here, and it can it physically can't happen. And we, we have a we're doing a job in Toronto right now, and and the lady is distraught because her island can't go in, and it's it's because some of the stuff that she needed to move is unmovable. Yeah, well, you can't do it, it. Everything's movable, but I mean, it would be the price of the house to move it, right? Yeah, so, why would you do that? So yeah, for a you know for the in person inspection, that that stuff's going to range from like one ninety nine to three ninety nine, and I mean the three ninety nine one, you know, I'm there for like four or five hours, and we go through the whole shebang, uh, or or Jack, or or I mean, I have a couple, I have guys on my team, and then guys that are are going to join me with this that are civil engineers architects, former interior designers, builders, you know, all this kind of stuff. And it, so, I mean, there won't be a damn question that we can not get for you. And the thing is, at the end of the day, you take the information and do what you want with it. If it's a DIY, go ahead. If you need us, fine. If you need another guy in Toronto, fine. If you need another guy in Oakville, I'll get you that too, right? That's that's crazy. I love it. That's excellent. Uh, last couple of minutes, but I want to spend some time on the new builds that you've been doing and, and how's that going? I mean, I know that you've been busy at Oak Hill and I know that angling in Waterford you've been working on what's going yeah. on. Give me an update quick. We've been, we've been rocking and rolling. I mean, we try to tidy up a couple of customer jobs before Christmas. I mean, there was, a, there was a mega rush. I mean, we were everywhere, but um, I'm happy to say that uh, like 417 Oak Hill drive, which is um, a, uh, it's not a new build. It, it's, it's a rental that we've done with full house rental everything everywhere it is just about ready to have an open house um and it, nice. it it is it is completely not the style that i typically do it's a florida modern house but i mean this place has come out absolutely insane it, there's nothing like it in all of brantford and I, I mean i'm really proud of it i didn't even expect it to be what it is but um it's, uh i mean it's it's definitely something that you should come and see even if you have no interest in buying it you want to come see them? Some of the stuff we do. Uh, there's some weird and wonderful stuff going on over there, um, and that one has got uh, it's got a full rentable nanny suite in the basement. It's on three quarters of an acre. It's in Brant County, but just outside Brantford near the airport. So I mean, your highway's right there. I mean, it's an absolute. If you need space, and if you need space outside and space inside, I, I mean, you got to come have a look at this place. The uh, Angling Road has uh, been on a bit of a stall for a bit, but it is, uh, it's coming right along. It's, get, it's all sealed up. Um, you know, we're, we're just about to start working on siding, and we're going to be putting the interior in it soon. So by all means, it's in walkable, walk-throughable, I should say, uh, format at the moment. So uh, you, can book, you, know, you can book a showing with myself or, or uh, Mark, Mark Stockdale, and we can walk you through that thing because it's it's still at the stage where you could still pick finishes at that place. Cool, uh, uh, great. It's good to hear that those are those projects are coming together for you. I know you want to get those on the market, get those yep. moving, and lots of folks are looking. So it's a good op- good time to be to be doing that. Um, yep. uh, thanks for today. I know you're busy, and I hate bugging you, but uh, it's it's important that we get this information out. Let us know more on that new project, especially when you're talking about going into homes and helping people make those decisions and understanding which walls can be moved. When you guys get that up off the ground, we definitely need to yeah. do a couple of shows on that. Cause that's important. Well, yeah, uh, it, it goes hand in hand with this and that's it. it and we'll, we'll continue, continue to flip. Uh, in, in fact, a lot of these podcasts are going to jump on that site uh, to assist in them uh, because maybe these will help on its own. Maybe you don't need any more than yeah. this conversation. Right. Well, it gets you started in the right direction. That's yeah, that's, the main, that's a big thing. 
I see a huge need for it. I mean, and it's like, you know, and, and believe me, I, I love giving the advice, but it gets to a point where like, I literally am spending four or five hours at somebody's house. So, I mean, if we make it into a service, um, yeah. it's something you can have in paper when you're done, that you'll have a report on what your item was. Or if you just need a Zoom call and be like, Justin, what the hell do I do here? Then, you know, I'll just walk you through it right like that. And we'll set up, we'll set up the call and I'll be like, okay, well, you know, it, it, this is how we're going to do this. Get through it. And I mean, if you really don't, by the end of the day, then I guess you're hiring us, right? <laughs> well, and I like the point that you said, because when you get a home inspection, you never really know, right? No. I, you're just calling someone to say, hey, is this house any good? Right. But yeah. I think, I and then they're all, the guys that I've had have been really good about it. Yeah. But at the same time, too, I know you. Right. Like, you know, I would say to you, come look at this for me, right? I'd rather pay you than pay someone I don't know. Well, because yeah. I know I'm going to get an honest answer. Yeah, and 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 the thing, and I'm not slagging on home inspectors. It's the problem is that, that there's not enough. There's enough information there to buy the house as is. Right. I don't yep. want to modify it. I mean, you, you know, you got no clue. I mean, it, it, right. it, even even something as you know, a home inspector says. I mean, I don't want to drag this on so long, but home inspector says, okay, well, all the wiring's up to date and it's great, right? However, um. If I want to do, if somebody says, okay, that's great, I'm going to buy the house, and then we need to do an addition off the back, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, well, right. all of a sudden, I got you. electrical is no longer good enough. Mm -hmm. and it's I not enough. We'll be able to tell you that before you buy the house, so maybe you'd yeah. have to reduce your offer a little bit so you can afford the 30 grand upgrade. Yeah, that's a good point. And you're right. Uh, we shouldn't paint a brush on home inspectors because there's a lot of great folks out there that do wonderful well, jobs. Tons of good guys. But, yeah. but yeah, at the end of the day, I would say 2% of them have background building knowledge. And those guys are now, and they're, they're more money and they should be. Yeah. Uh, Pay for I what you get. I'm 23 years in this, you know, Jack is 34 years and he's a former civil engineer. You know, Sam's been a finisher for 16 years. And so, I mean, uh, and, and believe me, I got four or five other guys. My architects have been in it for, uh, you know, oh God, their lifetime. <laughs> Um, you know, so, and even from the design, I mean, design perspective, uh, we have two interior designers that we work with that we could throw on there for advice. If you don't, if you don't care about the building and you need curtains, they can shoot you in that direction too. Cool. All right. Take care. Don't work too hard today. Okay. Thanks very much.